video is sponsored by Comic Book Pressing. Use the code MightyComicsGuy for one free regular price press when submitting three books or more. What's going on YouTube? This is Lawrence, the Mighty Comics Guy, back with another video. Today we are back for Weekend Comic Call number 25. I'm super excited to show you guys what I picked up. But before I do that, just a little bit of information. We are currently at 337 subscribers, trying to get to that elusive 500 where I'm gonna do a 500 subscriber giveaway. It's gonna be something special. So I'm looking forward to that, but we still got a little ways to go before we get there. So if you haven't already done so, I ask that you guys subscribe to this channel if you like it. Like this video if you enjoy my videos. And without further ado, let me show you what we got for Weekend Comic Call number 25. First book I picked up this week was a recent acquisition this morning. Headed over to one of my LCSs and picked up The Incredible Hulk number 333. Nothing spectacular about this book except for the fact that it is a nice orange cover, which I like. And it is also interior McFarlane artwork. Um, didn't know that until recently. That's why I picked it up. Again, this is a lower to mid-grade copy of this book. I paid five bucks for it. Nothing spectacular, but... For a five dollar pickup, I figured why not. The next book I picked up purely because I love the cover, and it is The Amazing Spider-Man number two seventeen, a nice Sandman and Hydro Man combo cover going after Spidey. Again, a uh, a very fine probably a copy. I paid six bucks for this book. Nothing crazy, just really really like the cover. Next. Uh, I have Amazing Spider-Man number 289. I believe this is when we find out that the Hobgoblin is Ned Leeds. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not 100% sure, but it says the Hobgoblin revealed on it. I'm pretty sure it is. Picked this up at 10 bucks at one of my LCSs also this weekend. This one is actually a higher grade copy. Probably 8.0 range, I would say. Next, I picked up the Amazing Spider-Man number 71. Uh, again, a mid-grade copy of this book. Uh, I just couldn't pass this up. I paid 12 bucks for it. Totally thought it was worth it for an early Amazing Spider-Man. Again, just a cool cover. Nothing crazy about it. I am actually working on an Amazing Spider-Man run. I may not do the whole run, just books that I find the covers to be absolutely beautiful, which a lot of the early Silver Age Amazing Spider-Mans are. And of course, who doesn't love Amazing Spider-Man? I think that's probably the biggest uh, Silver Age books that most people collect, I would think. Um, from my experience on Instagram, on YouTube, everybody loves early Spidey. One more, same book, Amazing Spider-Man number 62. We have Medusa. This is a, a nice looking copy, a little tanner than I would have liked, but overall in really good condition for number 62. Uh, I actually spotted a really beautiful white copy of this book on eBay, and I was too late. Somebody beat me to it. So, But either way, happy I picked this one up. It's, it's still a nice copy. And finally, uh, searching this one down took me a while to finally get a nice copy, and I think this is actually a pretty good one because the ones I've seen recently on eBay have been really beat up and asking way much more than what I paid for this one. It is Strange Tales number 114. Just a nice Captain America Human Torch cover. Beautiful looking book. Uh, I heard somewhere that this is like the third Silver Age Captain America or something along those lines. But I'm not sure of that, so don't quote me on that. I gotta look, do some research on it on which uh, Captain America appearance this is in the Silver Age. But either way, awesome, awesome looking book. Totally happy I was able to pick this one up when I saw it and I actually got a really good deal on it so um, that's it for this week's comic haul guys it's uh, a short haul this week for number 25 I'm actually amazed that we're up to number 25 of this series already uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed what I've put out so far uh, I want to run something by you guys real quick I'm actually thinking of doing a weekly series called classic covers where every week I basically take a classic cover and we talk about it and what we go over what we think would make it be a classic cover what do we like about it what's so special about it leave me uh, comments down below on what you guys think uh, of that idea and uh, if everybody likes it maybe i'll go forward with it but uh that's it for weekend comic call number 25 this is lawrence the mighty comics guy saying subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so like this video if you like it and i will talk to you guys soon <laughs>
Emma, I ran. 